so after spending the whole day at Kweja, we are now going to this amazing lodge that uh, Mr. Heron told us about, which he manages. And uh, I cannot wait to show you guys around. He told us that we are also going to see a beautiful sunset. And uh, from what I'm seeing over there, we are going to see a very nice sunset. So let's go to the lodge and go enjoy it ourselves. And then uh, also observe the sunset. But it has been amazing experiencing the community as well as coming to sleep close to the community. For those of you who like to do multiple days, this is an opportunity for you to come and um, have a full hands-on experience and enjoy yourself. We are finally here and uh, I told you guys it's, it's cold here even though they say it's supposed to be warm but it's really cold so but I'm excited to come to the lodge it's beautiful it's just that um, the time right now it's a little bit late so and I'm feeling cold so I just want to go sit by the fire which they prepared for me already and then uh, Tell me I was not going to be cold. I may have. I did not lie. You did not lie? <laughs> and now you are the one standing close to the fire. Yeah. We are actually going to tour the room. I want to show you guys the room before I go and scatter the bed. So where I'm going to be sleeping. Christian, how, how many bedrooms this this lodge has? Um, there are four bedrooms. Sorry. Two, four. Four bedrooms. Four. Two are joined. Okay. And the rest are separated, like are standalones. Oh right. Yeah. But how many um, guests do you think this place can take? Uh, comfortably, it can take eight, but like if you request extra beds, they can give you extra beds and you only pay conservation fees, you don't pay for the whole, the full amount. Okay. Yeah, any person above the eight, the eighth person pays half the price. Half the price. Yep. I see. Okay. So where are we? Uh, this is Kweja Community Starbeds. This is Bandawan. There okay. are three others further, further down. So this is the first one. It has this bed, the, the big bed which can be wheeled outside. Uh, a smaller bed at the back if you don't want to, wheel, uh, to sleep outside. And two separate shower and toilet on separate ends of the of the banda and occasionally you can see wild animals from the comfort of your bed okay so you sleep and then you wake up to the animals at this view exactly. i'm sorry guys that you cannot see some of these things that we are mentioning right now we actually got in late so tomorrow morning i'm going to wake up very early and show you but i still need to give you a room tour before i start scattering the room yeah 
So for those of you who are worried about mosquitoes, because we can um, sleep out here, the room comes with net, and so that is why it has this mosquito net. And um, how come the bed is big with tides? Um, in the local language, it's called amkokoteni. You lift the back and then Am what? amkokoteni. Amkokoteni. Yes. Okay. It, it's it's a cart for car carrying luggage. Okay. So in this case, this is the idea behind this bed. So if you lift the back, it's going to automatically wheel outside. Oh. Yeah. So that's to ease the movement to. So that means that this bed can literally move outside there, and you have a. Um, you can sleep under the stars. Mm. Wake up to a beautiful sunrise, see wild animals from the bed. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Like I said, I'm so sorry that um, it's late, so you guys are not really seeing all these things that we are mentioning. But I'm still gonna give you guys a proper room tour in the morning. So you know what? Um, can I wheel my bed now? Is it easy? Um, Let's see, guys. Let me see if I can wheel my own bed. Three, two, one, go. Ha! Ah, so that means I'm going to be sleeping out here in the wild. Alright, I'm excited. You have a very nice mouth. So, uh -huh. so this is, uh, what's your name? Peterson. Peterson? Yeah. So Peterson is uh, the person, oh, what's your role here? Yeah? What do you do here? Yeah? I'm being a ski yule. Don't worry, it's Kidogo Kidogo Swahili. Um, mm. uh -huh. uh -huh. So, kazi yangu ni yu akutengeneza hii marumu Pagia na kufanya hii kazi yote So hindi uh, kazi yangu uh, okay. What did he say? He said his room is to prepare, his, his role is to prepare the rooms for us uh, To clean and all that Okay Yeah So when you book this place, how do you get food? Um, is there a chef that you get or something? Um, ideally, it is a self-catering lodge, so you bring your food, but the chef will be there to cook it for you. So who is the chef? Is there a chef here? Ah! Hey! Chef, <laughs> chef! <laughs> ah! Thank you. Okay, nice, nice meeting you too. Um, what, what kind of food do you usually prepare here? What, 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 what are some um, of the options? Type of food you normally just prepare according to your meal, mm -hmm. according to your, you know, then we are digestive food, we want type of food we like to eat. Uh -huh. So, because it's self catering, uh -huh. so if they want food, they like to bring. So, whenever you bring a food, oh guys, this is my food, I want this and this, we will only cook this and this. So, anyway, we cook all types of food you bring. Any type of food? Any type of food. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. So, for those of you who are worried about food option, yep. you just have to shop because yep. um, there's no big supermarket around. So, yep. if you are coming, sure. make sure you bring your own food, st uh, food items. Yeah. Or ingredients and then um chef chef please what's your name again philip chef philip is yeah, yeah. gonna do the magic yeah. for you so yeah. yeah you know what it's time for us to go and sit by the fire i'm feeling cold and so uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow All right. oh my god Woo. Um, hi guys, I don't feel like getting up, <laughs> but it feels good to come to this place and enjoy beautiful sunrise like this and um, sleep with this river view. Um, anyway, I'm at a big Nord lodge and um, it's somewhere located in Samburu. I've come to enjoy this place actually. Last night was good. This is where I slept. Um, one thing I like about this place is the fact that you can come out and observe stars. But one thing I can share with you this morning is the sunrise is right over there. So let me get down. Ah. One thing I would like to advise you guys on is the fact that it's honestly really cold here. And so if you plan on coming, you should come with um, stuff that will help you with the cold. But the good news is, I got myself. Let me show you guys the brand name so that 
You guys will always, when you forget, that Fred mentioned it the wrong way. Hey, where's the brand name? Guys, I can't find. But this is from Mal Collins. Mal Collins, so if you are looking forward to getting one for yourself, you can contact them. Um, it's cold here actually, it's really cold. Usually they say it's hot, but I don't know, because of global warming, so um, it's really cold. Like, I me, mean, my fingers were freezing last night, so we had to sleep with this thick blanket. But uh, yeah, so let's see the river. Uh, are those animals? Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Guys, can you see what I'm seeing? Wow. Okay. Um, one thing I think I'll be needing this morning is coffee or tea. I'm not a coffee person or tea person, but I understand now why people like coffee or tea because it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold. I need to go and get dressed. But what's the plan for today? I don't know. Um, this trip has been created by Christine. Christine is an indigenous of um, um, Nayuki. She lives and work here as a tour guide and um, trip planner or uh, trip creator. So she did the whole arrangement of this trip. And so if you guys are looking forward to coming here, I would advise that you book her and she will be the one to help you plan your trip. Now, the advantage of planning your trips is um, you don't have to worry about getting up and seeing what next am I going to do, making phone calls. I think that is a lot of work, honestly, because... You are thinking about what you want to do, you are thinking about how you want to do it and then you have to think about feeding yourself and stuff. So I advise that you always leave your trip to someone to plan it for you, especially someone who is good at it. And that is why um, I will encourage you guys to book with Christine. Um, thank you, Eve. Explore Eve from the coast. She helped me connect. She connected me with uh, Christine and Eve. I really appreciate this if you are watching right now. I love the fact that you're able to connect us and uh, I've had a very good time here in Kenya and so those of you who came together to make it possible thank you so much but it's time to enjoy the day Alright, so this is the third room, or the third, yeah, the third room. And what happened basically here is, uh, if, like that like said, it's for eight people. So if you are a family size, you can have this, which takes um, about three people, provided you want to share a bed with someone. Then you can take the big bed, and then there's a small bed for you. Or if you are two, one person can share the master bed, and then um, the next person can share the small bed. But uh, what is common with this is the fact that there's one family here, there's another family here, and then all of you can come here and um, yeah, in the morning chill. You guys will share a bathroom as well, toilet and bath, which is literally here. And um, yeah, I think so far so good. That's it. All right. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I hope you love what I do. So you know what I'll do? Um, I need to get ready. I'm getting late for the next location, so let's go.